Good afternoon and welcome to the annual general meeting of the Edinburgh branch of Parkinson's UK. I can't be with you in person today because while well, you're sitting in the St Andrews and West Church in George Street, I'm currently sitting on a plane on its way to Bali. I'm away off on my holidays and unfortunately there has been a clash of dates which was unavoidable. So a huge thanks to Patrick Mark, the Vice Chair of our branch, who's very kindly agreed to chair this meeting on my behalf. It's hugely embarrassing for me as the chair not to actually be there with you on this particular day for two reasons. The first one being today would be my first anniversary of becoming chair and not to be there is somewhat embarrassing. But the second reason is the guest speaker after the AGM this, this afternoon is Brian Carson, who is the newly appointed trustee for Scot or Scottish trustee. So again, apologies to Brian for me not being there. Despite not actually being with you in person, I thought it would be a good idea to maybe play to you some of my reflections on my first 12 months as being the chair of the Edinburgh branch. I'm certainly in a very fortunate position to be the chair because it gives me the opportunity to speak to people from other branches. It gives me the opportunity to speak to people who are not even members of branches, to give the opportunity to speak to clinicians both here and in Dundee, where there's a centre of research for Parkinson's. And the one thing that comes across to me very strongly is the success of the Edinburgh branch. Now, I can't take any credit for the success of the Edinburgh branch. It's something that's been built up over a number of years through a number of committees and certainly a, a number of volunteers, many of whom are still involved today. As a branch, we run a whole series of activities from art classes through to Tai Chi, through to singing, we run coffee mornings, we run walking groups, we run a whole range of activities for people with Parkinson's, but also importantly, we run a range of activities for people who are carers and partners of people with Parkinson's, because they are important too, so they give up a lot of their lives to look after us people with Parkinson's. And so again, a huge thanks to the people who built up such a hugely successful branch here in Edinburgh, and let's hope we can continue with the success of the branch uh, under my chairmanship. I guess I set myself a couple of objectives uh, last year when I was appointed as chair at the AGM. And these two objectives were, first of all, to try and reach out from the group of people we have within the Edinburgh branch to some of the more underserved communities within the Edinburgh geography. And certainly there are lots of people out there who don't know very much about the Edinburgh branch, who don't know very much about Parkinson's UK, who don't know very much about Parkinson's at all. And so I think there is a responsibility on our shoulders to make sure we reach out to these communities. The second objective I set myself was to try and encourage more people, whether they're members of the branch or not, to get involved in clinical research and also clinical trials. And certainly... When I took over as chair, I was still in the middle of a 90-week clinical trial where I was self-injecting with a diabetes-based drug to see if it had an impact on people with Parkinson's. I'm certainly looking forward to the results of that clinical trial and they should come out later this year. On the first uh, the objective of outreach, I believe we've certainly got some momentum behind us now. I'd like to thank Gina Allen for her great support in this and also Claire for the introductions that she has made with to us from the link group of workers within the Edinburgh Voluntary Group. We had a very excellent meeting with them recently and they seem very keen to use the facilities that we have within the Edinburgh branch to reach out into different parts of the Ed Edinburgh geography. I think the first ta target would be with the, this group of link workers to set up some sort of local coffee morning Rather than trying to take people out of their locale, let's us go and help them. And so if we can set that up, I would aim to try and get maybe a Parkinson's nurse, maybe a Parkinson's special advisor along to this coffee morning, just to try and introduce the sorts of services that we now take for granted, I think, within the Edinburgh branch that are available to us. On the research side, certainly I think we've got much more connected into the research world within Parkinson's UK and outside of it. David Melton and his group, the Edinburgh Research Interest Group, I think do a fantastic job in bringing exciting new opportunities for us to get involved, be it through university research where they're doing monitoring of particular um, conditions within Parkinson's, for example, swallowing, 
or indeed you know stuff that comes out through Parkinson's UK where again there's activities going on listening to speech therapy there's a whole bunch of stuff around about using wearable devices to determine you know the sorts of symptoms that you have on a day-to-day -day basis uh, I seem to be getting more and more involved in the technology side of Parkinson's I'm now a member of a steering group of a group within Parkinson's UK called Trusted Tech and what these people are trying to do is to say you know there's lots of vendors out there trying to push products onto people with Parkinson's to say this will help you with your gait this will help you with your you know, swallowing the queuing type devices and there's so many of these in the market now that we believe within Parkinson's UK we should have a look at these products and not make you know, formal recommendations but to certainly comment on the efficacy of these products for people with Parkinson's and their carers. And so there's lots of opportunities coming along, both for people within the branch and people yet to join the branch to get involved in research. So that second objective is well underway as well. I was fortunate enough in the last 12 months to go to the World Parkinson's Congress in Barcelona in July. It was a huge occasion, huge. I mean, it certainly uplifts your spirits to see that there are actually so many people out there trying to help people with Parkinson's and their carers to improve their symptoms, to um, look at new activities that they can take part in. There was a huge exhibition hall which had lots of vendors trying to push products onto people with Parkinson's. Um, but the thing that sticks in my mind is the camaraderie, the people with Parkinson's and their carers who were happy to sit down over a coffee or to sit down over a bite of lunch and discuss their, you know, what they found to help them, what they found to help the carers. And there was a whole bunch of stuff around about that. There were obviously very, very deep scientific presentations about, you know, what causes an alpha-synuclein molecule to misfold into a protein and travel up the vagus nerve up to the back of the brain. Really crazy scientific stuff like that, which I didn't quite understand. But on the other hand, there was a whole bunch of stuff around about looking after carers, uh, getting active, playing table tennis, um, getting involved in all sorts of things. So it was hugely, hugely beneficial. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And so let me just close then by saying, apology again for not being with you. Um, I'm looking forward to my holiday and uh, I'll see you all when I come back. Let me leave you with a couple of thoughts. These thoughts are, we really need to get involved in research. So if you have the opportunity, get involved. We've put together a series of interesting talks around about the subject of getting together. So again, we use the get together mechanism which is held in this church hall to meet up with other people over a coffee and have a chat about your Parkinson's. And the key thing that comes out from all the research is do exercise, keep active and keep well. Thank you very much. I hope the rest of the AGM goes well. Bye.